What's going on, everybody? Hopefully, you guys are staying safe today. I wanted to provide a little bit of an update video for you guys. Um, I actually had to have a little bit of a surgery um, to remove a skin infection, which is very painful. Put me on the shelf for about a week now, and it won't fully heal for another six to eight weeks. But um, I really wanted to get a video out to just um, make sure you guys knew what was going on. I know I don't have that many followers, but the ones that I do pretty much know me personally and a lot of you guys in the quarantine I haven't had contact with besides these, this YouTube channel. So I just wanted to let you guys know what was up. I don't know how many videos I'm going to be able to put out, actually. Um, it's not going to be my regular schedule. I know that, which kind of sucks because I was getting into a rhythm. Um, but... And it's mostly going to be card videos because those are quick and easy to make. And I, and actually, those get the most views anyways. So I know you guys probably like those. But, I mean, it is what it is. Stuff happens, but it's not a how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. So, today, I think I'm going to do a Pokemon on a budget video. Um, you'll see the second half of this video. Uh, what it actually is, but I want you guys um, please bear with me um, It's it sucks. I'm gonna be completely 100 with you guys. It sucks. So um, thank you guys for um, Sticking with me sticking with the channel. I haven't lost any subscribers. So that's good um, So thank you guys and uh, enjoy the video. All right guys like I stated earlier today We are going to have a Pokemon on a budget video so you see a lot of Shining Legends stuff. This is what is on sale at my local Walmart. I got this Shining Legends Pikachu pin box from Walmart for around $12. I also heard that they're coming in double packs. So it has one box and then one another box behind it. And I believe that's $20. So pretty good deal for Shining Legends. This is a set that is... Um, getting pushed out if you will they're also making these blister packs that are supposed to come with um five cards and a booster but a booster pack i don't know what those five cards are if they're hollows or reverse hollows or whatever but it was only um a couple bucks as well i think it was like four dollars like a regular pack but it just came with these extra cards so not bad and then i have two celestial storm dollar tree packs so if you look there will, there shall be deals. You just gotta know what to look for. So uh, I will unwrap these and then we can get started with the video. All right, first let's take a look at this Pikachu, Shining Legends. Um, it looks pretty sick. It's in its plastic prison as always. So I do not, do not, I do not want to risk taking it out. But, good artwork nonetheless. Three packs of Shining Legends. That always comes in this box. And I always have a bad habit of skipping um, the pin or the token that we get. But there's Pikachu, another pin to add to our collection. Alright, oops, hit the camera there. So, what I want to do first is go through these cards that came in that blister pack. Um, just to make sure what was in there because they're loose. So we got Charmander, Meryl, ooh, that's like a knitted Meryl, Pansage, and Electric. Oh, there's one more, Ryolu. So uh, just random cards, I guess. Kind of interesting. Um, let's do two of these and then we'll do these and then the last two of the hidden hidden legends so this one is actually the blister that those cards came oh, came with wow this one's really working with me code card for you guys one two three four wow these kind of look lighter than usual hmm. okay so let's get this camera to focus Water Energy, Super Scoop Up, Spirit Tomb, Golurk and Reshiram going to the sky, Jinx, Surprise and Happy at the same time, Scraggy with his little stick, Shroomish, Quillfish, Stunfisk, Toracat Reverse Hollow, and a Reshiram Hollow. And as usual, these always come with a Hollow card. 
So, I mean, that's a good thing and a bad thing. Always love hollows, but kind of predictable. But no problem. It's okay. Code card. One, two, three, four. Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. These cards look lighter. Water energy again. Spirit Tomb again. Double colorist energy. Sophocles. Crocona. Litten. Love Litten. Larvesta. Breloom. Torcat again. Reverse Leopard. That's an uncommon. And a Pokemon Breeder. Miltank. Shout out to OG Tiny Bean. Miltank was his starter. Moomer. That is a nice pull that we are going to sleeve right away. Little. So I have been looking into um, grading some of my cards. I know I always say that I never want to grade my cards, but oh man, I'm getting I'm getting the itch again. I want to start. Um, I want to start my collection back up. Not that I got rid of my old collection, but I need. Man, opening these cards again, it's making me really want to start grading some of these. Let's see what we can pull from our first Dollar Tree pack. Go check out the app if you love Pokemon. A Rattata. I've never seen that Alolan Rattata uh, art before. Oh, there we go. God pull Torchic. Annalisa. We're going to put Torchic in the back, of course. Oh, come on. There you go. Let's open the Rayquaza pack next. Come on, work with me. There we go. And with these Dollar Tree packs, guys, um, the rare is always in the middle. So, oh, and I just put the... Yeah, it's okay. You'll see it. Nuzleaf. Oh my gosh, what a pull. Larvitar. Wow, this is a reprint from the Neo, I believe. Neo sets. Interesting. And Slackoth. So nothing in the um, Dollar Tree packs, but a Sugimori art. Another Sugimori art. You guys know I love his art style. And this one, this Larvitar is a throwback for me from when I first... Well, not when I first started collecting Pokemon cards, but very early stages of collecting Pokemon cards. It's pretty cool. Take me back. Oh, okay. The spine just came off. All right. Code card for y'all. All right. Steel energy. Energy retrieval. Super scoop up. Spirit tomb. We always get these spirit tombs. Ivysaur. Quillfish, shout out Ralph Fisher, Shroomish, Love Litten, Larvesta, they always come back to back together. Incineroar Reverse Hollow, I'll take that, that's an uncommon interesting. And a Keldeo Hollow, we haven't pulled a Keldeo yet. Nice, oh we can't block. Torchic. Alright, one more pack, last pack magic. Pikachu in the front code card fighting type oh hit the camera once again fighting type energy ultra ball venusaur an uncommon that should be a rare i believe spirit tomb have we pulled spirit tomb every single pack pikachu over the rainbow stunfisk ekans breloom oh, oh. Voltorb looking at the sunset we always pull those larvesta Palkia, what? Oh, our Vesta was our reverse. Wow. What last pack magic and Palkia that we have pulled before. All right. Let's check out what we got. So, Palkia for our last pull. Let's get these out of the way. And like I always say, these cards will, most of these cards, I should preface that. Because I do want to get some of them graded. Most of my cards I pull will be donated to um, my Pokemon Club. And even the cards that get graded will be used for either contests or to show what a graded card is in my Pokemon Clubs. So we got Palkia Hollow, Torchic, not Hollow, not Reverse Hollow, but the logo. Reshiram, 
Pokemon Breeder, which was our main pool with Miltank, and Keldeo. So, thank you guys for watching and um, bearing with me through, through this uh, tough time for everyone, not just me, um, but just through these tough times. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.